Hello, welcome back. I am Ellie. We are working on the new LEGO Friends Main Street building. This is part three of the build so far. We are up to bag number nine and we've constructed, I mean, technically two thirds of this build already. There are a lot of details inside and outside. Make sure you check out the other parts of the build. Must also remember to say that this is a set that LEGO sent me, which is very, very exciting. Uh, I didn't expect it, but it's such a welcome surprise. <laughs> So, all right, here we go. We are starting with bag number nine, which is the bag that Stephanie comes in. Uh, I actually grabbed all of the mini dolls out of all of the bags. There are eight all up, and we had a look at the very beginning of the build, but I'll reintroduce each character as they turn up from each bag. So Stephanie officially comes in bag number nine. She has got a red bicycle and a blue helmet, which unfortunately comes with no hair. So we still have no hair helmets, even though I know Lego makes them. So <laughs> we might have a beanie hair, but we don't have hair helmets. Hair helmets. It's time for hair helmets. That would be so cool. But you know, you can't have everything. Maybe next year. So Stephanie is on a red bicycle. Interestingly enough, she's the only one of the Lego Friends girls, or the five Lego Friends girls that's included in this set. I'm interested to know what direction Lego design is a going with the Lego Friends theme, but we will see as we go along. Anyway, book! <laughs> got a book! Uh, inside, obviously, we've got some printing on the sticker, and on the outside, the cover is, looks like it's a bit of a romance novel. It's really, actually, it, it's kind of a generic enough... Where can we put this? Can she hold it in the front? On the, yeah, she can. That's nice. So she can transport it on the bike like that. And the cover's actually generic enough that you could use it in any Lego theme. This is part of Lego's, I assume, part of Lego's proclamation that they're going to try very hard to be less gender biased in their themes. Now I'm seeing less gender bias in the Lego Friends theme, so I'm waiting to see whether we see less gender bias in, say, Lego Ninjago. Uh, but anyway, we will see. We'll see. It doesn't have to just relate to the, in inverted commas, girl themes. Anyway, I, that, that's my rant. I have a little bit of a rant. Okay, okay, back to the actual build. So we've got a, we've got, we've tiled the background while I was busy ranting. Got a couple of post boxes here. No, sorry, letter boxes. So we've got two and four and the postcard going into number four. So there are two apartments technically in the, in these, in this whole main street building. But I, I don't know. I feel as though there's one more. We'll have to have a look as we go along. Anyway, this is the bottom floor of the third section and we haven't had any clue yet of what it actually is but there's a whole heap of bookshelves on the top are some games so you've got oh, brick tower which is obviously gonna be jenga there's chess there's some dice games and the books oh hello so science in space comet I mean, we seeing like a hint that maybe space might be the next theme, the middle of the year theme for Lego friends. I mean, that's the, all you can read on the covers in there. So maybe I'm just putting a bit out there. That's what I reckon. Anyway, so we've got it. It's a book. Uh, so a bookshelf, but we've got coffee or a teacup and what I assume is creamer. I mean, what even is creamer that you put in your coffee? We don't use it here in Australia. Maybe it's just a sugar, like sugar dispenser. Got a couple of sodas over here. So it's a bookshop, a bookshop cafe kind of thing. A bookshop cafe. A book cafe. Is that what you call them? I don't even know what you call them. It's not a full-blown library. You can't just borrow the books. You have to buy them. So we've got... Uh, if it's gonna be cafe, we need a pretty, nah, pretty fancy schmancy looking coffee machine. Whoa, all right, so yeah, definitely a coffee machine. So this bit goes out here, we need to put the tamper on there. And then on the top, you've got the place where you pop your beans in to grind them, the hopper. Ooh, and then we get to put a couple of beans in here, throwing some on the floor, lovely. Hey, nice, and there's even space on the top to put another cup so you can keep it warm. So a very nice coffee <laughs> machine for the coffee shop. Of course we need a cash register because it's a shop and some money because it's a shop. And this is, uh, I suppose this is the little, yeah, this is a little display area for, oh uh, yeah, this goes on here. So they're all on jumper studs so you can take them out. So it's the display area for your treats. What you can come and nibble on while you are at the coffee shop. There's no way to sit in the coffee shop. Maybe that will be rectified. So we've got a croissant, we've got a cupcake and a very nice looking sandwich. And there is, yeah, definitely a place there to put a mini doll behind the counter. There's actually enough room inside. There's, there's not a lot of furniture inside. There's, we really do need another, 
a seat maybe for that little table over there. That would be nice. But you can't have everything. <laughs> or can you? I'm going to put a seat in later if we don't end up with one. Okay, so lining over the top. So that's the top done. What's happening out the front? We definitely have got room for the wheelchair to go through, which is very, very important. Uh, Lego's made sure that they, they, they think of that with all of these. This is a little, little, okay, so table and chair for out the front. We've got a cupcake already sitting out here and this is the sign for our book cafe. That's so nice and another book, a green book. Whoa, two books at the cafe, awesome. Oh, hold on, that's not a book you can borrow. So this is, cool. I love that, it's the sign for the, oh, for the book cafe. It's an actual literal book and a coffee cup. That's really cool. I wish I could angle it a bit better so we could see it. Yeah, but yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> okay. All right, and a street light, and we need some garden beds. We've seen these happening along the front of the other ones as well. But we're not putting a, we're not putting a garden bed here. This is the bookshop sign. Oh, coffee and books. Once again, really, really nice generic artwork, which would fit in any Lego city. That's a gorgeous sign. And a couple of rings for a bike stand. This is ingenious. Does this even work? Let's get Stephanie off this and find out. Oh my gosh, it really does. That's so cute. Wow, all right, I love that bike stand. And the coffee shop, the book coffee shop is small, but it's it's really, yeah, it's really cute. Okay, leftover pieces that we have at the end of that bag. We're up to bag number 10, which means we're gonna start building the next floor. Let's move this out of the way. So bag number 10 is a bag that just the kitten comes in. So this whole room is for the kitten. Probably not, but let's find it. It is incredibly pink. <laughs> oh my gosh. But oh, wow. Okay, so that three framed window in blue sticker has got, oh, the bottom box says rocket science. How we're definitely getting a, yeah, a space theme for mini dolls. We've got to be. So there's a plan up there. There's a flamingo picture. There's an alarm clock. There's a nice little candle lit. I think this is going to be a bedroom or a living room. Purple door frame with some blue glass in it. And this, so we've got pink and blue predominantly. Oh, right, now we got some nice vibrant yellow. Is this a toilet? No, I hope not because <laughs> it's actually on a balcony. That would be embarrassing. Or not, just depends, you know. Uh, all right, so we've got a tiny, tiny balcony hanging off the edge there. I love that. A plant in a pot. <laughs> just like, just enough room to hang it off there. More pink walling. Got to pull all of them together with these bits along the top. Ooh, outward facing stud to attach something to purple door frame and this door actually opens inwards which is very smart because there'll be no room to go outwards blue nice big six by one by one window it's not a sliding one like the other ones ha were it's just a little bit offset off the front there it makes it look very modern and gives you a little bit more space inside too that's pretty okay all right so this is very pink and blue Wow, <laughs> and more yellow here over in the corner. We get another plant, but not there. So that's going in that corner. What's going on that jumper study thing? I don't know, we'll find out in a moment. So we get another bowl, a cat food bowl this time. The red one was for the Scotty, Scottish Terrier in Dottie's apartment. This is a, a floor lamp. Okay, and it is designed to shine straight in your face. Perfect. You can't angle that down. You can only angle it forwards <laughs> around. Wow. Everyone likes lights that just shine straight in your face. Anyway, I'll move on from the light. We'll have a look at the bed. The bed is in black and white. This is such an interesting decision for a color scheme. I suppose everything else is blue and pink and yellow in this room. And the bed is striped black and white. Got some fringing or tassel coming off the side. Uh, you have to line these up, which is a right royal pain. <laughs> I will persevere. I will get them lined up. There has to be an easier way to try and get them lined up at the top. I have not figured that out yet. I will figure it out one day. So I, I'm i wondering whether this is supposed to be Dottie's bedroom because she's got a kitchen which would be right next door to this. But it doesn't really seem like her, uh, her aesthetic really. It seems a little bit more a less dotty -y, y So maybe this is, like like I said, I think this might be a third apartment. I, I'm just not sure. But it could be Dottie's bedroom. You can make it Dottie's bedroom. You can make it whatever you, whatever you dang well please. So this is the lid. The lid for our room, all lined in pink, goes on here. It's not designed to be detached, so 
it's going to make that quite pokey to get into that room. Here are extra pieces. Very nice. Now this then goes on top of our coffee shop. And yeah, it's lined up. It's going to line up right next to Dottie's kitchen. So maybe there's a bedroom. What do you think? I don't know. I don't know. I think it's not quite, like I said, her aesthetic. But she doesn't have a bedroom, so maybe it is hers. Anyway, we're up to bag number 11. That's enough musing from me. Let's start with bag number 11, which is the one that Harper comes in with her wheelchair. And that would, I mean, my assumption would be that this room that we're about to build would be for Harper. Maybe the bedroom is for Harper as well. That would make more sense. It does seem more like a younger person's aesthetic. I've said aesthetic too many times. Okay, so we have got just immensely yellow, so that makes me very, very happy. Lots of yellow going down. <laughs> Bit of pink in here where we're going to be putting the furniture on those jumper studs. First sticker of this room might give us a hint. There's a map of Heart Lake City. It's very pretty. There's a cactus. There's a candle again, like in the room downstairs. There's a camera. Lots of pretty things on the shelf there. So yeah, maybe that bedroom is supposed to be for Harper. Got some see-through pink pieces, some see-through yellow, sorry, orange pieces, just kind of alternating here or just put in seemingly random places. They're offset weirdly. There's another plant, this time it's pink. <laughs> well, the flower's pink. And this balcony is on the opposite side to the one downstairs. Pink door frame it has to go inwards because otherwise you wouldn't be able to open it. And wow, all right, we're putting a different different window configuration in on the front. Why have we got offset turquoise windows on the side? That looks so, I mean, it doesn't look weird. It's just different. I, I like it. I like it. It's colorful and wacky. Now, speaking of colorful and wacky, we are building the window to put in here in that big space that's missing. It's a sideways window. I haven't seen this technique used in Lego Friends sets yet, have I? Am I mistaken? But it's definitely one you see a lot in the Lego Creator Expert modulars. So this is that's a bit more of a yeah, bit, bit harder technical building, which is nice to see. Okay, lining the top with yellow. Look at all those translucent orange pieces and pink. Just uh, so interesting. This is a chair which is also interesting. It's got lumpy bits in the middle. We're alternating the dark turquoise and the magenta or fuchsia. I don't even know what color you call that pink. The dark pinky color. So chair that goes over here in this corner underneath all that fabulous shelving. Let's see if Harper can sit. Mm. <laughs> she can't. No. Is this, it was designed to have the wheelchair on it. No, that's insane. What? Why can't she, she can't sit on it? What am I doing wrong? Okay. Nah. Okay, a mini doll cannot sit on this chair. Maybe this way. Well, that looks comfy. Okay, right. So that's the only way a mini doll can actually sit on that chair. It's cute looking, but it's not what you'd call functional, which is unusual. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I don't know. Hmm. That's very strange. Okay, let's move on from that for now. Let's get into this corner and build whatever bit of furniture is happening in this opposite corner. We've got a table, got mobile, and... Ooh, a computer keyboard. Very nice. So this is a little computer station. This is the flat screen and on the flat screen, the monitor is a paint program or a drawing program. So Harper is a graphic artist or a digital designer or also just, just does drawing on, on computers. That's fantastic. I love that detail. I don't even know what the little thing is. In it. It's like a hairy squished lemon. I'm pretty sure it's not, but that's what I think it is. <laughs> Every time I see it, it's got little yellow floppy ears. Then it can't be a lemon, can it? Okay, but there is actually room here to fit the wheelchair in. It's absolutely perfect. Got a side table there with a vase on it. Now we get, uh, this is the same as the pink roofy bit. This is going to be permanently, well, designed to be permanently put on top of the yellow box. This is the yellow box's roof. So we have these bits with jumper studs on them so that you can attach another floor to it if you want to. But this is supposed to be the top, eh? Yeah, this is supposed to be the top of this building. But you can you can change these around, configure them however you want. But because this one's supposed to be the top, it gets some foliage just to make it look less dark. I mean, foliage makes everything look so much friendlier. So these go up here, uh, kind of, yeah, yeah, that looks all right. Yeah, nice, all right. So now these are our only leftover pieces. That looks pretty good. This now goes on top of our pink apartment building bit. Look at that. How is it that all these colors don't look just whacked together? They really should. It should look insane, but it doesn't. It looks amazing. So this is, oh, you could pop it in here 
Uh, and then this is if you want to use this bit as a middle, like a corner, middle cornery thing. That looks pretty, pretty impressive. In fact, that looks very impressive. The back less impressive. You can't actually access that middle, the middle section at all when it's in that configuration. Anyway, we're not done with building, so I should stop fussing with the building itself and do some more actual building. So bag number 12 has Evelyn in it. Evelyn gets another helmet without hair, a hairless helmet, because she's going to go on a skateboard. So safety first, very nice. Now, if she's going to go on a skateboard, you would assume we'd be building something to go with that next, but we're not. That's not our next bit. <laughs> but it is soon. But this is very important. Now, you will have noted that there are no stairs and there's no elevator in this actual build, which would have been quite a substantial... <sighs> Yeah, quite substantial things to build onto it. What is this piece? It's like a Technic pin, but without a sticky out bit on the end. And that goes, oh, oh, that is in flush. How do you get that out again? I've never seen that before. I don't do a lot of Technic building, but I don't know how you'd get that pin out again. Not with that. No, all right. <laughs> I'm not going to touch it at the moment. I'll worry about it if I ever pull this apart again. Anyway, I was talking about stairs and, and elevators. They'd be such a substantial thing to have to add to this. It would drive the price up and could make it look cumbersome. I'm still going to have a go at building some later, I think. But this is important because we've got Harper in the wheelchair. We need wheelchair access. We've had wheelchair access up onto those first floors. This is going to provide this clever little design by Lego is going to provide access wheelchair access to all levels so let's make sure that I just get it together correctly we got a little red ball this goes on here so that just goes over the top and that seems kind of clunky why is that that kind of catches there anyway let's pop Harper on here on the wheelchair goes around that way nice and then goes up and catches on the bottom why is it catch on the oh because I forgot the smooth bit there oh that kind of has to be buried in down the bar oh, sorry Harper right okay so uh we need to just pull that apart put it back together things have flown everywhere where do the bits go for these put those back in there nice nice all right now we can do this again now it's smooth all right okay so <laughs> it's a bit of a mistake so this takes her up to different levels. It has little notches in the back so that you can actually park the wheelchair at each level. Let's check this out. Let's take this to the building that we just, oh, breaking. Let's take this one that we just built. And I don't think it's gonna be, oh look, let's just detach it. Yeah, let's detach the actual building from the rest of them. So you can put it on when everything's all stuck together, but it'll be easier if it's detached. So we can take her all the way up to the first level here, Parker here. She could get off at the bedroom, which is probably hers and probably not Dottie's. She could get all the way to the top uh, for her working office. Very nice. See, look how tidy that is. Ah, really good. And you can attach that to any of the three building sections. You just unplug it from there and reattach it. Oh, that is such a thoughtful addition. Everybody else can ride on it too, if, you know, as long as Harper doesn't need it at that time. Okay, so. I mentioned a skateboard thing. Let's build our skateboard thing. So Evelyn's not just here randomly riding a skateboard along the sidewalk because pedestrians really don't like that very much. So she gets her own dedicated skateboard ramp in orange and green. These colors are reminiscent of Mia's skateboard ramp from a few years ago. And this sticker, this sticker is exactly the same one that we see on the dumpster in the Italian restaurant. Look at that. So Pranksy, Ethan, Evelyn's either brother or cousin, has uh, graffiti this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> has tagged it with his pizza tag. You can't really ride on it. It's not really designed to, yeah, sit there very nicely. I am just bemused as to who thought that we needed a vibrant coral uh, <laughs> rubbish bin, but I love it. It's so bright. And so it's got a glass bottle in it. And on the other side, we've got a couple of roller skates so other people can join in on the fun. There's so much to do here. It's so lively. It is such a lively set. Uh, yeah, so a water bottle and some skates and a spare skate just in case. Why do we have a spare red ball thing? Have I done something wrong? And a spare lid for the rubbish bin? Maybe because that's a new colour. That's a new colour in that piece. Hmm. Okay, all right. So the rubbish bin's kind of awesome. And it brings us to the end of this build. We have been on quite a journey with this. So let's see, how can we put this... I, uh, I mean, I can see on the box how it's supposed to be configured. Like, uh, so we could put Oh, hold on. Let's move this around. Uh, it doesn't really matter on the back. Actually, it does. If you want to access those that corner section, you have to put that 
not on the middle if you want to access it on the back. I've just taken the pins out so that I can move this around. Oh, I missed a pin. Oh, I'll just kind of move it around. So if I put the purple section on the end, it would make a really nice end piece. And it's supposed to be offset to the back so that you can fit the skateboard ramp in in front of it. Or we could move it around... Oh, I don't know that the bike racks kind of congested like that. All right, I'm gonna have to have a play with how to configure this bit. <laughs> but oh my gosh, in the meantime, it just isn't it the prettiest thing? It's long overdue for Lego friends to have a set like this. It's not quite as a tricky a build as I had kind of hoped it would be, but it's oh, look, it is full of life. It's full of character. It's full of it's an entire city really in one set there are so many ways that you could set this up there are so many stories going on so many stories yet to be told with this set it's really just it's really alive <laughs> I really like it okay I, I'm really glad you came on the journey building this with me I hope you enjoyed it let me know what you think in the comments and I'll be back with another build very soon so I will see you then <laughs> bye <laughs>